that we had this year. That's awesome. Um, Arturo is asking about the Trinity, if it's biblical. What's your take on the okay. Trinity? <laughs> Here we go, Arturo. You ready? Uh, Arturo, I believe in the ministry of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Maybe I don't agree that it's three distinct persons. We, we go through this in Bible study all the time. And that is, it'll say that the Holy Spirit, and, and, and they will interchange the Holy Spirit with the Spirit of Jesus. They'll interchange it. Many theologians will tell you that you can't teach the Trinity in the Bible, that there's no way you're going to teach it. But then, of course, you can't teach the rapture neither with one specific verse. But here's the deal that I'm really passionate about. There are people out there that want to argue the Trinity. Again, I believe in the, the ministry of the Father, and I believe in the ministry of the Son, and I have the Holy Spirit's in me. And there's people that want to argue that if you don't believe in it exactly the way I do, then, man, we got a problem. Show me the problem. Is, is it going to mean that there's a difference between us going to heaven or hell because maybe we can't explain the Trinity the way this guy over here does? And I'll tell you now, if anyone says they can logically explain the Trinity, they're lying to you. They're lying to you because you can't logically explain it. You have your verses on this side. Some people say you can't explain it. All I know is that there is a father and he has a son and his name is Jesus. And the Holy Spirit has come from the Father, and He lives inside of us. So again, let's don't argue over the Trinity. And I'm not saying that you are, my friend, but let's just know that all three, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, all have prominent roles in our lives. We might not agree on all of the details of it. I don't know if you could have the Father standing here, the Son here, and the Holy Spirit here. I believe the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Jesus, the Holy Ghost, the Ghost of Jesus. And so let's just make up our mind that we're not going to argue about it. But there are people out there in different persuasions of the faith that would almost kill us because they don't, we don't agree maybe with them exactly on the Trinity. But you don't have any verses in the Bible that will teach the Trinity with one or two verses. You're going to have to put a bunch of verses together. And so I'm not going to argue about it. 